Hello, so it is Jack's birthday. Yay. Oh, I thought you were going to look up and like <laughs> acknowledge the fact that it was your birthday. So Jack turned seven today and today is our first and only full day in Prague. Um, so we've got ready and we're just like, we have done a bit of an itinerary. I'm hoping this vlog is going to be a little bit more put together than my previous one because that was just a little bit all over the show. Um, but yeah, I've gone for a green blazer and then the same like trousers that I had on yesterday. Um, and Jack, what have you got on that jumper? A jumper that I always wear. And his red hat because his hair looks shit. Um, um <laughs> I don't, yeah, but come on, it Happy does. birthday, Jack. Um, so yeah, we are gonna head into the city kind of thing. I don't know. And have a little explore. We're gonna get something to eat because we're both really hungry. Um, but yeah the thing is it says it's going to be quite cold today so initially it said it was going to be like 14 degrees mm. did you just say it's four uh, yeah, so, uh, so i was like yeah, unsure whether or not to put a coat on over the top of this blazer but i don't really want to i'd rather just have this blazer so i'm going to be freezing cold I'll try a coat on, but I think I'm just going to wear this. But yeah, we're going to show you, um, I, I want to show you where we're staying actually, because this Airbnb is in a really good location and it was really affordable, much more so than a lot of hotels I've seen. Um, but yeah, we're going to head off and do something. We've just got a chimney cake with chocolate. This was a hundred pounds. <laughs> Not pounds, <laughs> 100 Czech pounds. Um, and we went to the old Czech chimney cake. Is it nice? Is it hot? I haven't tried it, no, not nice. Oh. No, but is it nice? I haven't tried it either. Oh, well, I'm sure it is. I've tried these in Vienna and in Budapest as well. Budapest was the first time I tried it. It was really nice. Mm. Really does seem very impressed. It's alright. Yeah, good. Yeah. John Lennon. Yeah. 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 So we've just come to this little bit, which I've seen online described as like little Prague. So it's a <laughs> Jack keeps going, you start. <laughs> but it is. And some people have put padlocks on. Not very many, but I feel like this will become one of those padlock bridges. Um, although it's really scary because we've just had like, I'm not exaggerating, about 15 to 20 yeah, police, cars, police go cars go past and like undercover police cars all in suits go through here. So that was pretty weird. But this is where, so where the Charles Bridge is up here, um, this little river is the one that's like through here. But yeah, it's really cute. I just literally said to Jack, oh, I want to go to the gingerbread place and I've just found it. This is near, oh my God, don't die. <laughs> this is kind of not that far from where we've just walked with that little Venice place um, that's not Venice, but yeah. That's where it's going for the gingerbread. So we're going to try some of these. Jack's got this chocolatey one. And show us in your bag. Do you rate it? It's like, oh, do you want to get it out? <laughs> I think it's coconut. And. Yeah, so like, a, oh, it's got jam in it. Mm. Ugh, oh, I hate jam. Can you get my one out for me, please? So I can show. Yeah, they also had like some good kids ones. They had like SpongeBob SquarePants and Peppa Pig. Um, but these two, both of these came to 200, not pounds, but you know what I mean, 200 of it. <laughs> We've climbed up some big steps. I think we're heading to that Prague Castle, but pretty beautiful view of the city. Glad you can see it. Yeah, Becky can't quite see. It's a quite a sizable <laughs> height, so we'll get to an angle where she can see in a minute. So we've walked up here, and this is all the stairs. It's very tiring, but we're not actually going in the castle. But we've got a good view of the city. So we've just come down the streets with like all of the designer shops and now we're in this square. I don't know why I'm holding this camera this way. What's that building, Jack? Uh, 
You don't know? Yeah. Well, there's two funky buildings. Oh, don't cross the road without me. I'm just gonna go get. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm gonna go get something to eat, I think. So we've come to somewhere called the Fat Cat Restaurant and we've got nachos and chips and we've got some chicken wings to come as well, but we're gonna just share it all. But this is what it looks like a little. So we just popped back to the Airbnb and now we're going to head out to Prague Golf and Games because we booked some like indoor neon like mini golf at three o'clock. Um, don't mind if you can just hear Jack weeing in the background. Um, <laughs> I think I showed you the place we went to for food which was called like Fat Cat or something. Um, that was good. Um... The chicken wings that we had, they I think they forgot them basically. <laughs> they were like, oh, there's a glitch in the system, which is why they haven't come yet. But I think they just forgot them. Um, luckily, we were sharing like both things. Um, I'm trying to think to update you all. We did try and look at the narrowest street in the world, I think it is, or something. Um, but that was closed. It said it was open between half 11 and midnight. Um, so maybe we'll try it again, but it was closed we were there when it should have been open and it was closed but i was so pleased we found the gingerbread place because i'd said to jack like literally five seconds before i saw it like oh i really want to try the gingerbread place as well and then i walked around the corner and it was there and i just didn't even know it was in the same place so yeah we're gonna do mini golf i'm gonna win and we will catch up when we're doing something else go on jack <laughs> Oh, that was easy, that was way easier. We've just <laughs> left the mini golf and I won. No, you didn't. And then we played air hockey and I won. No, you did not. No, I unfortunately, like usually I win air hockey, but it's Jack's birthday, so I thought I'd let him win. Yeah, that's it. It is it. And we are just heading to. Did you say the dancing house? Yes, like wavy thing. Wavy thing. Yeah, wavy um, thing. So yeah, it's about four o'clock now. But we're going to do that, and then Jack really wants some chocolate, so we're going to get some chocolate. But we'll show you the dancing house. So we've walked across a long bridge. It's just basically taking a little walk. That is the Charles Bridge in the distance over there. And we might check out whether or not the narrow street is open. Jack's just revealed that he would like a pint, so off to get a pint. Off to get a pint we go. Just going down the narrowest street, which is very narrow. It's like a traffic light system. <laughs> Cool. We've been walking for ages, trying to find somewhere to have something to eat. We're just heading to the dub liner. Not sure if we're gonna eat or just have some drinks because unless you like pizza or steak, there's not a lot. Which I do like, but it's quite expensive to be honest. I can hear music in the dub liner. Do you wanna go in? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Right, we're we'll heading to the dub liner. <laughs> So we have come out of the dub liner. That was really good in my opinion. I think the, um, although we had a bit of a weird situation, what happened when you were playing, Jack? She asked for my tip. Yeah, so I think what happened, well, I was just on my phone because I was just finding it so awkward. So firstly, I think she said, would you like to add a tip, didn't she? Yeah. And then didn't she, like, didn't you suggest an amount? And she was like, well. <laughs> Well, dude, yeah. 
I'm basically told this. you to add more, so I just find that so cringy. Um, so then, yeah, we both decided we'd go home for the night and we thought we would get a takeaway on the way home. And the takeaway we got was Jack got a Mexican hot dog. Yours actually looks kind of nice. I mean, he's mm. eaten like all of it. It was, it, this is a bit boring. I got um, a pulled pork burger and chips, like to share with Jack. And the pulled pork burger, that's not pulled pork. Ugh. My finger just touched them. I mean, stuff. technically, it is pulled pork. That's not pulled pork. Pulled pork is barbecue. Mm -hmm. So I'm not eating any of that burger. I mean, it was dirty. It's only barbecue if it says barbecue pulled pork. Really? I've never heard of pulled pork that's not barbecue. Anyway, um, is the pork nice? Mm hmm. Mm. I mean, this whole meal, so Jack had a hot dog, I had the burger and chips, was 380 coronas or something. Um, that's really cheap. Earlier, we went to a candy shop. It's one where you, like, pay per 100 grams, and it was 99 per 100 grams, and we had, we paid 228, and we didn't have very many sweets. Um, so, yeah, to be fair, what do you expect? But... Well, I expected barbecue. I expected better than that. Have you tried any of that? No, yeah. I feel like such a waste, but I think they put coleslaw in the bottom of the bun. I like coleslaw. That's, that doesn't go in a burger. I've never known anyone do that. Mm -hmm. It kind of looks okay. We've got some more chocolate, so it's fine. Right. Do chip? Not now. It's got all that white stuff in there. White stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna take my makeup off and we're just gonna chill out for a little bit and get an early night because we check out some more So obviously we need to make sure we've got everything. Please tell me to come with This is not on you. <laughs> what do you rate it? Solid two out of ten. Mm. Better than that. What? I want to know numbers. Look like a seven, like it's nice and meaty. It's not a seven, guys. It's not a seven. You haven't even tried it. You don't like coastal, so. No. So our last day, and we've just come to the uh, what's it called the original park sausage, which is near here. What's it like? This is what it looks like. I'm just eating bread. So oh, far. show us. Just spread, oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna try some as well, it looks nice. But we're just gonna have a bit of a wander today and just eat and drink some different things. So good up in my job, didn't see what's going on now. I know I'm better sleeping in my own girls. If you like Mexican, you have to go there, which is near Mustak Tube Station, because we just had the best quesadilla and burrito in the world see we are back home um i just felt like i can end the vlog how i did basically the um the last day we just didn't really film very much to be honest we kind of done everything we wanted to do on the first day um and the last day was kind of just spent this sounds really bad but like in a bar and like in a pub just drinking and just kind of yeah just chilling out and talking and just enjoying some music um so yeah that's kind of what we did to be honest and that's why i didn't film much because you can only film so many drinks and stuff before it's just boring um so yeah we got a flight back late in the evening we've actually both been quite ill since we have been back with different things um so yeah we are back now obviously and that's the end of the prior vlog um if you did want me to do like a rundown um, of like what we thought was worth visiting and what we 
thought wasn't basically and like prices of things then i can do a video on that um just need to obviously get together all the information i look like i'm obsessed with yellow don't i um i always just wear this hoodie on a sunday it's just very chilled hoodie the scrunchie i don't know why i have this it's just to whack my hair up in a ponytail and my nails it's because it's nearly easter that's how much later it is that i'm filming this it's nearly easter so yeah i do like yellow but not this much and um, so yeah if you want us to do like a rundown of prague um then we're happy to do like a sit down video with prices and stuff i'm happy to talk about prices i don't care um i just need to like work it all back out um so yeah let me know if you do want to if you want to see any of our holiday photos because i always like to post a million holiday photos then they're on my instagram which i'll pop in the description because i can't actually remember it um but yeah basically thank you so much for watching um if you like sort of holiday vlogs and shopping stuff um then hit subscribe and hopefully i'll take you to wherever we next go on holiday but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in my next video